In four weeks, they'll protect some of the world's most powerful leaders. Police from Delta, what's your location, please? The Marine unit of Devon and Cornwall Police is getting ready for its largest ever operation. Hosting a G7 summit at a beachfront hotel means threats can come from the sea. They're fast vessels. We'll hope be able to pick up any problem long before it gets anywhere near where somebody could you know, cause a problem and we'll be able to investigate, go over and see if it's anything suspicious, anything we should be concerned about, and if so, we'll be able to react and deal with that. The unit will patrol a vast exclusion zone around Carbis Bay in North Cornwall. Officers will be armed and have equipment that can stop any vessel if they need to. There are going to be marine officers from around 10 forces helping to police the G7 summit. They're going to have a presence in the seas around Carbis Bay 24-7. Threats to the summit are not just above the surface. Specialist diving teams will be deep underwater with checks already underway. With so much of Cornwall linked to maritime, police are hoping locals can tip them off to anything suspicious. Big concerns for us are obviously um, any maritime vessels that are not normally in the location. If we've got um, any people that are directing any vessels into vulnerable routes within the coastline that are not normally apparent within that area, then um, that would obviously be the information that we'd be looking for. While movements at sea will be restricted over the summit weekend, police are keen to let residents continue their business. We don't want to get in people's way, um, purely that, yes, there is an incredibly important um, meeting going on and there's people, that, that, you know, the leaders of the world, but people still got to make a living, they've still got to live and, and do what they've always done, so we're trying to minimise that impact as best we can. There will be 6,500 officers policing the G7, 5,000 of those coming from outside of Cornwall. The Marine unit will be a key part of ensuring the summit is one of the most secure locations in the world. Dan Whitehead, Sky News, in Plymouth.